sneeze. Hey, everyone. Um, I first want to say I apologize that Dr. Kim and I weren't able to come to you live just a few minutes ago. We were having some technical issues, but we have rescheduled that for 4 p.m. Eastern, 5, uh, 4 p.m. Central, 5 um, p.m. Eastern. I'm super excited to have Dr. Maddie Perry with me. It's her birthday, so I'm going to do a real quick <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Maddie. Happy birthday to you. So um, when you join, Thank go you ahead so and <laughs> pop in the comment section. Happy birthday, Dr. Maddie. Um, and, and she'll appreciate all of your applause and, um, and, and, uh, happy birthday to her. Also, please go ahead and post your questions. Um, we'll try and get to them live. If we don't, we'll make sure that we answer them afterwards. And then when joining us, tell us where you're joining us from, what, what city, state, or country are you joining us from? So I first just want to start with Maddie, how did you get here in dominating your niche with athletes and um, and performance based individuals, like was it just uh, well, I thought about it and it okay. happened? <laughs> uh, well, part of it was um, athletics is my love; it's my passion. I've been an athlete my entire life, um, so it was pretty natural for me to um, be just in, in athletics. And I will definitely say that that was something that I focused on while I was in school. And I wanted to learn everything I could about, um, you know, sports chiropractic and performance and all of that. So it definitely started earlier for me, but when I first got out and was building my practice, I will say, and I had to think about this actually the other day, uh, but in, before we got on, um, I think I was literally at every single 5K the first two years I was in practice doing screenings. So I wasn't able to run because I was working, but I was literally there every single weekend at every single race just in the community and, you know, that starts that starts your name and um for for those people who might be in a similar situation like I was I graduated school and I moved to a community that I knew no one I didn't grow up here I so I had no connections so literally I was a stranger on the street to everyone I had absolutely no family name nothing to work on so it was literally just hitting the pavement and just go 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 Absolutely and Dr. Maddie and I've been coaching together Four years? Five, five years, I think. Five years? I That's think it's crazy. Been five. Yeah. And, yeah. And I have to give her like major kudos that what like what she's saying, she was at every event. She was. She was at every event, you know, doing a screening, getting her name out there. It wasn't like it just, you know, fell in her lap. So any of you who are working to dominate your niche and, and you're discouraged, don't get discouraged. Keep keep showing up and keep putting your name out there and um, you know, keep keep pressing. And what did you find in those early days, Maddie, that was most helpful in getting your name out there? Like when you were at the event, did you hand out cards? Did you say, hey, let's race together? What did you do? Um, it, it was a variety of things, I will say. Um, unfortunately, a lot of it is trial and error. Um, the fact that I was an athlete and I could compare stories with people, um, they, they got it. They understood that I got them and I understand how hard it was to have an injury and not be able to do the things you love. So again, that, that passion, um, really I think came through. Um, but then also just my knowledge base. Um, I, like I said, when I was in school and now even out of school, I'm still constantly working on improving my knowledge base when it comes to sports and particular injuries and the best protocols for rehab and treatment and all of those things. And so being up to date and constantly studying, um, I think really amazed people of like, oh, wow, she's really knowledgeable. She really knows what she's talking about. And I mean, knowledge is power. And when people know that you know what you're talking about, trust me, your name will be brought up a lot in conversation in a good way. Absolutely. And what what were your go-tos or what are your go-tos to stay up to date with the best knowledge in serving athletes? Um, well, I, I do a couple different things. Um, staying 
staying up to date, honestly, literature. I know it's, it's super boring, but um, reading journals, um, the National Athletic Sports uh, Medicine um, Institute, which is pretty much who certifies personal trainers, things like that. So um, I do stuff with them. Um, and just working with other docs. There is a lot of other doctors that have different knowledge than I do. So constantly learning. Um, when I do continuing education, I do try to focus it in on things I want to learn about, um, which A, also made it fun for me, because let's face it, no one wants to give up an entire weekend to sit in a classroom <laughs> on things they're not, <laughs> you know, excited about. But um, yeah, it's just reading, you know, even just magazines, Runner's World, I mean, on Facebook nowadays, you can find anything, and articles about a whole bunch of things, um, and just following, you know, reputable people within in the industry as well, so that's, that's really where I find a lot of that, and um, when you're reading the same articles that your patients are reading, they're like, oh, great, she knows what I'm talking about. You know, that's, that's another, you know, thing there. But, yeah, I will say that, uh, gosh, I'd say probably four to five times a week I'm constantly looking at new articles and reading things. And so, again, that, that constant base, um, you know, is, is, I think, super important because, um you know, you learn so much in school. They only so you need to take it upon yourself to really become that expert within your field if if you want to be the expert. So, yeah, I think that is so important. What what Dr. Maddie is saying there that you want to be able to engage with your potential new practice members or existing practice members where they are. So if they're reading Runner's World, make sure you're reading one Runner's World. If they're at these events, you know, make sure you are, if, you know, like I, I know you do rock tape as well. Um, mm -hmm. And so yep. obviously individuals who are in the performance industry, they, they know about that. And so Dr. Maddie just didn't sit back and go, Oh, well, that's not something I want to do. She learned about it. And now even is going to CrossFit as a representative from rock tape. Right. Yep, yep. I went and um, got certified through Rock Tape. Um, so I have my performance and my basics. So I've got two certifications through Rock Tape. And uh, this weekend, I'll actually be working the CrossFit Games um, here in Madison, Wisconsin. Um, Rock Tape called, you know, they, they call on their doctors and say, hey, can you help us with our athletes? And so I will be there <laughs> on, on Saturday morning getting those athletes ready to, you know, compete. So those are some of the things that are, are super fun. Um, I find those things very fun to do. It's, it's great to work on someone and then see them perform and, and excel. That's, you know, that's part of why we do what we do. Um, you know, the, the greatest part for me nowadays is I am getting calls to go to these major events and seeing, again, these, these athletes excel, like, I, I don't have children, but uh, I feel like a proud mama when, you know, they're, <laughs> they're excelling. So, you know, it's, it's a great, great thing to see. Absolutely. So let's talk about, so Dr. Maddie just got back a couple, was it two weeks ago? Two weekends ago? Yeah, it was two weekends ago now. Yeah. And so she was at, in Hermosa Beach, California at the AVP first, the junior pro volleyball tour. So let, let's talk about how that happened. It wasn't like you just jumped in at the top, but let's let's talk about that. It's been, what, three years? This is the third summer, right? Uh, fourth summer, actually. It's been four years. Already fourth summer. Okay, so how did all of that come yeah. about to now yeah. you're, like, sought after? Yeah, uh, well, so, again, running, running in the circles of the things you like, um, you just start networking and meeting with docs and, I happened to get hooked up with this particular doctor in um, Southern California who was um, taking care of pro athletes on the uh, NVL, which is the National Volleyball League, which is a, uh, a semi-pro tour. Um, and so it obviously goes all over the country and there were some dates in Milwaukee and he put out a call for coverage and it made its way to me. Um, and so... I worked it that first year, um, and then that second year, I actually completely staffed and was head of medical for the um, 
not only the Milwaukee stop, but then there was another stop um, in Ohio that I worked as well. Oh. And then after that, <laughs> um, I've basically just been working my way up. Um, I did, uh, because of my contacts with that pro tour, I actually um, was head of medical and staffed the Junior National Beach Volleyball Championships, which was held here last summer. So that was for kids from 12 to 18 uh, beach teams from all over the nation. And they had to qualify for that tour. Um, they had to qualify for that particular location. So we had 400 athletes in a weekend. Um, so that was a ton of fun. But again, you know, super crazy. And then um, because of all of the great work I did. I got a phone and asked if I would come out and help with AVP first um, with uh, out at their stop in Hermosa Beach. So when you get a call to go out to California for four days, you normally aren't going to turn <laughs> that down. But um, but it was a lot of work. You know, I, I put in my time and and I've constantly been working. And I think the the big thing is truly coming through for people and sticking to your word as well as delivering. Um, you know, the the people, the organizers saw what a great job I did and our team did. And the parents were super appreciative. The pro athletes, when I was working with them, were super appreciative. And, you know, you're again, your name gets out there. And now, you know, I'm I'm the person that they tend to call. And, you know, even tournaments locally here now, I've had people call and say, hey, we need we need a medical staff. Can you get people in? And so it's great because now chiropractic is getting athletes. And especially with the AVP first tour, these are the kids that are going to be our future Olympians. So if we can get them exposed to chiropractic now and they can understand how great chiropractic is for their performance as well as injury prevention, well, that's just that much better. And I can tell you 100% without a doubt, every single pro volleyball player on that tour goes to a chiropractic goes to a chiropractor and is under regular chiropractic care and is constantly in the medical tents getting adjusted when they're at different stops that are not by their, you know, home. So the pro the pro, the pro players get it. And so the big thing for us is really getting these junior athletes to to understand too. Awesome. So, so let's talk about when you're in California, how does that impact your practice in Wisconsin? Uh, well, you know, it's, it's notoriety. Um, Cause again, especially the beach volleyball community, it's pretty small. Um, yes. Everyone knows everyone. And so you know, there's thrown out there and there's only a few doctors that people will trust. I mean, I actually uh, the other day got a care package from Hawaii. <laughs> That's um, awesome. So, you know, from a player that I took care of um, and that, you know, that that a makes me feel great. But, um, you know, it's just again, you're being good at what you do um, really, really shows. Um, so that's that's the big thing. And now because of that, um, and because I have that notoriety, more and more local indoor volleyball players here are coming to see me. And I'm taking care of kids in season as well as out of season. So I'm seeing that resurgence of, you know, athletes, especially student athletes. And this goes across the board for everybody, um, you know, soccer, baseball, football, track and field, um, you know, Pretty much, you name it. I I pretty much take care of athletes of of all of all of it. So that's awesome. So um, when when taking care of the pro athletes too, you know, like everyone. So Dr. Maddie's in Ohio, or Dr. Maddie's in California, representing chiropractic at these events, and especially in such a, a, a close knit community. And I think any niche has a certain closeness to it they're going to know mm -hmm. people in Wisconsin or they're going to know coaches in Wisconsin or they're going to know other people. And so by branding yourself as I am the chiropractor for athletes who want to, pre you know, prevent injuries and excel, I'm, I'm the gal, I'm, I, I'm your girl. I think it's just absolutely awesome. So let me ask you, um, what advice do you have to, a doctor who's watching this, who wants to get into 
like dominating their niche for performance and athletes? Well, I would say the number one thing is do your homework, do your homework with um, if there's a particular sport, say it's triathlons, um, you know, do do your homework. What does it require? What type of training? What are the common injuries? That's a really big thing to to know is the common injuries that you're going to be seeing. Um, you know, have that knowledge base. If it was an, a sport that you were involved in when you were younger, that's even better. But if not, that's that's OK. I have a lot of I am not a cyclist, <laughs> so I've done a triathlon and I was like, yeah, OK, then this isn't really my thing. Um, but I still understand the athletic mentality. So that is the big thing. So doing again, doing your homework, I think, is a number one thing, especially being knowledgeable and what you can potentially see. Um, and even letting those particular patients know, like, hey, you might not have this now, but this is the common injuries and overuse that we see. So if we take care of this particular thing now, that means this injury will most likely not happen. Um, so that I would think would be the number one thing. The next thing is, you know, take every opportunity and just say yes. I can't tell you again how many things I missed in the sense of like, barbecues and you know going to brewers games and this and that with my friends and it was like oh I'm gonna meet you later because I've got x y and z going on like say yes because you never know where that opportunity is gonna bring you um yeah it means you gotta give up some of your free time but if it means in the long run that to go out to Hermosa Beach and hang out on the beach <laughs> yeah. for four days like Come on, like that's totally worth giving up a couple tailgates, you know, to to do. So um, it it doesn't necessarily come easy, but if you're willing to put in the work, you you will get the rewards. Absolutely, I love that. And I was just going over on um, a boot camp webinar today the importance of, um, and I'm going to read it to make sure that I get it right. And it's basically that um, we have to make sure our feelings at the moment align with our ultimate goal. So if you're all if your optimum goal is I want to, you know, I want to be the go to person for, you know, volleyball players, or I want to be the go to person for trail runners, or I want to be the go to person in my community for baseball players or whatever, then you have to make sure that in the moment, someone asks you to go, like Dr. Maddie said, like tailgating or whatever. If you say yes to that, you're saying no to your all your optimum goal, which successively could lead to something like Hormosa Beach, which wasn't a small deal. I mean, there were pro athletes there. And like Dr. Maddie said, like these kids that she was taking care of, these are our Olympic hopefuls. These are kids that are being trained and groomed and, and, and whatnot to, to represent the United States of America. And here perhaps because they got adjusted by Dr. Maddie and are now following with chiropractic care. Now they're representing our country. I think that's gigantic. And especially because, She's giving them an incredible taste of chiropractic at a young age for them and their families. So um, how then, um, shoot, I just forgot my question. Um, <laughs> That's okay. Um, oh, this was it. So, you know, many times we chiropractors kind of get our panties in a bunch about, well, I'm not going to be on a medical team. I'm, you know, like, don't ask me to be in charge of the medical team. I'm a chiropractor. How, how have you gone about like kind of resolving that? So that's number one, resolving that whatever. And then number two, what has been your, um, your experience being in that niche in terms of like, do you feel like people look down on you that you're a chiropractor or do you feel like instead they're like, yeah, rock on sister. So let's first talk about, when they say be in charge of the medical um, team, do you just jump in and say, yeah, no problem? Yeah. Um, you know, we're care factors. We're you know, primary care physicians. You know, no. Outside my suit, right? You're not going to do that either. Or a nurse, you know, they're, they're not going to be able to set a bone either. So 
we've got the training. And if you're not sure of what to do, you know, that's, that's, you know, taking a couple courses at your local community college. But um, I have worked in conjunction with massage therapists, uh, physical therapists, athletic trainers. Um, and it's, it's truly a team aspect. And that is one of the great things. And that is something that I don't know how much of this is chiropractic mentality of like, it's just me and only me, but you got to be a team player. Um, and so, like I said, I've, I've really made sure when I'm putting teams together that we have people that complement each other and it, it all works together. You know, I'm more than happy to tape someone with rock tape, but if you potentially have a sprained ankle and you need the, the standard type of taping or wrapping, well, yeah, you know, depending on what's going on, I might adjust you and then send you to the, to the athletic trainer and have the athletic trainer you know tape you for that support and stability that you need um but that's where again it can go hand in hand and just because it says you know medical team that doesn't mean you know (laughs) anything you're still there as you know uh you know first essentially a first responder and regardless of again who's there you know if it's a major injury one one so you're fine it's not it's not a you know a big deal and I'm not covering football you know I'm I'm you know something that will have major injuries like that I'm not covering um but even with all this stuff that I've done I've never had to do any of that um so you know sometimes you do have to make hard calls where you have to tell players you know like my honest, you know, opinion is that you shouldn't play anymore, but you're going to do that in your office. You're going to have, have yeah. that same conversation with someone in their in your office of saying, look, you know, you can't go running today or next week, or I have to refer you to the orthopedist because there's something more going on there. Um, so, you know, if, if you feel like you can work on a medical team, then yeah, you know, that that's the place for you. But if, if you can't, then yeah, I would definitely say this isn't the arena for you, but I know doctors nice. that work with, you know, the do tour. Um, so the snowboarding, um, as well as doctors that work with nitro circus. And let me tell you, they nice. person there on staff, the people that are first to respond, usually one of them's a chiropractor first. Yeah. Um, so if you think, If you think that chiropractors can't do that stuff, well, you know, it it can. And again, it doesn't mean that by toggling Atlas, you're going to get rid of their, you know, broken elbow. But you know when it's broken. That's, you know, that's totally, that's totally fine. So, um, and I will say that most people that are going to say yes to events like this are people that are willing to work in a team environment. So, being part of a medical team, I mean, again, you should be doing that in your office. And, you know, if you don't do nutrition in your office, referring out to a naturopath or a nutritionist um, or a PT, someone someone along that line. So if, if you're not already working in a, in a team uh, situation, then I would I would assume that you would be open and willing to. So that's that's really what it is. It's it's leaving. It's it's really leaving your, um, you know, your your bravado at the door. And nice. just what's best for the athlete. Simple nice. as that. So Yeah, absolutely. I agree with you. And and Dr. Maddie does have that attitude. Um, she's she's done incredible things. Even the the individual who uh, was in charge of this whole tour like gave her amazing kudos for the great job that she did. So of course, we're going to leverage that, <laughs> leverage it even further. So what last words of advice do you have for those who are watching today, whether someone who's watching who's never been to a chiropractor and, and they're an athlete or advice that you have to a chiropractor who is is wanting to um, serve more athletes and performance based individuals? I am going to say one thing, just like Dr. Maddie said, make sure you're walking your talk, Right. Don't, don't think you're going <laughs> to yeah. adjust athletes and performance-based people and not look like you're an athlete or performance, um, you know, fitness enthusiast yourself. So I'll say that and then go ahead, you go. <clears throat> um, yeah, well, so, you know, being being involved in that community, again, is is num- number one, really, um, you know, and, and loving it. And you don't have to love every sport. I am not a golf once in my life. I am horrible. But I take care of a ton of golfers um, yeah. because once you explain to an athlete how chiropractic can improve their performance by improving their function, guess what? They're on board. 
So it's really, um, really with, with that of just, and getting out there again, like just say yes to the opportunity. Again, it might be slightly in inconvenience. You might have to travel a little bit. Um, you know, like I have to travel an hour to go to the CrossFit games, you know, this weekend, but I'm more than happy to do it. Um, cause again, it's a, usually for me, it's super fun. If you like that exciting environment of competition, then this is something that you would probably love to do. Um, and you know, B it's again, just, you know, more exposure for me and more networking and things like that. And I will fully admit that I am horrible at networking. I stink That's at it. I stink at like the BNI groups, all that stuff. But when I'm at, any of these, I mean, sports expos, things like that, that is me networking and that is me at my best. And that's where I've really built built my success, especially because people expect that if you're going to be at these events, you know what you're talking about. Nice. <laughs> so um, so that's that's really what it is. And I can't remember the second part of your question. I'm sorry. Um, I think it was more so just like, what advice do you have? And I think that you, you've given all of that. So um, great point that you know, if the local networking events, you know, quote unquote business networking, if you haven't found that those are working for you, get involved in your niche. And many times it, it starts with signing up to serve and be selfless at first and serve and make your name, you know, make yourself known. Um, and then the opportunities will come, but it's not, it's not gonna, like you can't play tag with it. Like literally, Dr. Maddie was at every event. She got, you know, practice members on a team and they raced together and, and all of those things. So it's not just one thing, but it is saturating yourself and, and making sure everyone in that niche knows about you. So, Hey, Dr. Maddie, thank you so much for joining us today on your birthday. So have a great <laughs> birthday. Thank I you. will um, tell you if you guys have any questions while you watch this, please post your comments below um, if I can't answer them, I'll make sure Dr. Maddie jumps in and answers them. If you'd like to get in touch with her, um, I mean, honestly, she's her schedule is really, really full. So if it's, you know, like, what did you do? Go ahead and, and, and put it below and we'll answer it globally. So she's not taking up a bunch of time answering the same question <laughs> over and over and yeah. over again, because that's not really fair. And I will say, too, if you are interested in um we are constantly trying to expand our network of docs at things because obviously these events happen all over the nation so um please feel free to you know shoot me or you know dr barbara can forward all that to me and i can see where you are and i can see if we have a need for people in the area too um because nice. again networking more and more it's it's all over um and so we're we're really trying to spread the word with with chiropractic care and so if again if it's something that you want depending on where you are um even if you're here in milwaukee with me you know we that we always need more people um you know again chiropractors are only seeing what 10 percent of the population so there's there's a ton of people out there that need us yes. um and you know they just they just don't know because they haven't been exposed um and so I've honestly found that this is one of the easiest ways to expose people to, to it because they get it. They understand it. Um, you know, it's as simple as, hey, if we make this work, then you're. And they're like, OK, sign me up. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And Dr. Maddie broke up just a little bit um, when she said, if you're interested in serving on in, in, in the volleyball niche, please leave your information below or Facebook message me and I'll get it on to Dr. Maddie. Um, you know, just because you said you're interested doesn't mean she's obligated to include you. Obviously, she has to like kind of vet you to make sure. She yeah, there's a little bit of a screening process. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so show up as your best, and and when you do make it to that point, please make sure that um, that you're also being a team player and and serving these athletes and and giving chiropractic a good name. So, hey, thank you so much. Have a great yeah. day and happy no birthday. No problem. Thank you. See you. Bye. Bye.